Truckers XTV on air. We are now live in three, two, one. Welcome back to another episode of Persona 5 S Strikers. In the previous in the previous episode, we took on the Alice Hiragi boss battle. Today's episode right now, we're gonna see how this resolution becomes. So and for half today's episode, make sure that like was supposed to preach the channel. I did not save the file, didn't I? Okay, let's see what happens. Take it away, storyline. And now for the hottest meet and greet. Alice Hiragi has returned as our special guest. Miss Alice, thank you so much for coming on today, despite the last visit's conclusion. From what I hear, there's something you wish to share? Yes, I need to confess something. The incident that occurred with the previous hosts... That was... All my fault. I forced him to proclaim his love for me during a live broadcast. When I heard he was engaged to his co-host, I just wanted to ruin their relationship. Well, Miss Alice... And they're not the only ones. Anytime I see a happy woman, I just get so jealous. I do whatever it takes to ruin their lives. Uh, um, is this... is this a prank or something? All of my past managers tried so hard to stop me. But then I'd lash out at them too, and... and I'd assault them until they backed down. The only reason I've changed managers is because my last one had a total breakdown. Wait, are you... is this real? Everything I've said here is the truth. I'm sure all of it is easy enough to prove now. I've lied, and I've... It hurt so many people. And I'm just so sorry for it all. Is this... The, the Phantom Thieves? I'm the one who did it all. No one but me did these horrible things. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Cut! Cut! Right now! You have to stand by! Alice, this is gonna blow way up. That news lady even name-checked the Phantom Thieves. Well, whatever may come, at least our job's done. Right. We may have gone through something quite different from the palace. There's no mistaking Alice had a change of heart. The people with the stolen desires seem to be normal again, too. It's all over the internet. My son was about to blow our savings on Alice merch, but the Phantom Thieves rescued him. Thank you, Phantom Thieves. I'm just seeing a lot of I want my money back. Well, you sure can't help him there. I'm not sure everyone's actually a victim here. Nevertheless, mission complete. I wonder what'll happen to Alice next. It's probably next to impossible for her to make it in the industry now. Her scandal is big news. No matter why she did it, there are still consequences for her actions. But if Alice really can find that feeling she had when she first discovered fashion, I think she'll be okay. She can still be a ray of light for others. Even if she has to find another way to shine. That reminds me. We should still try to press her for info. She might know something that we still don't. But do we actually have a chance of meeting her now? I imagine her day-to-day -day life's become quite the mess. Ah, jeez, that's a good point. Her agency isn't going to want anything to do with her. An enlightening conversation as always in here. Sup? How's it hanging, folks? Ah, you again, Gramps? Hey, I won't deny I'm older than you guys, but... That still stinks, you know? But more importantly, you guys really hop to work when your minds are set, don't you? To what are you referring? Don't play stupid. I gave you solid intel, yeah? Yes, but that's... Well, that's good news. Looks like I'll be getting my own in return. Your own what? I came here today for your response to my offer. You know, the deal. We already told you we don't work with cops. And what if I tossed in a little bonus? Such as running some questions by Alice for you. 
You were just saying you wanted info from her, right? That's accurate. But Alice already confessed to messing with people on live TV. Our names have been cleared. Yeah, what she said. We don't need you for shit. If only that were true. What do you mean by that? How is this case not closed? Oh, it is far from closed. This change of heart epidemic is happening all over the country. And we know they can't all be Alice's victims. Therefore, you still have plenty to get pinned on you, don't you? Not only that, you already know how badly you've stirred the pot. That little calling card stunts fired up the public more than ever. These change of heart cases have to be the phantom thieves. It's the only thing I hear down at the station now. Do you really not realize how dangerous a position you're in right now? What bullshit? What the hell did we do? Calm down. Why do you think I offered you that deal? If I wanted to, I could cuff you and take you in right now. The reason I'm not is because I believe you are not the culprit. To catch the true perpetrator, I need your help. As in the person controlling Alice behind the scenes. The M.O. in this recent epidemic doesn't mesh with the Phantom Thieves ideology. The motives also appear very different. These are two separate cases. At least, that's what I believe. <sighs> May we have a moment to ourselves? We'd like to discuss it first. Sure, I'll be right outside. Just holler when you're ready for me. Now this is unexpected. We assumed Alice's confession would clear our names. Damn it. So they really weren't just trolling. What is it? When I was searching the web, I noticed some people saying weird stuff was happening here and there. Similar to what we've seen so far. Almost none of them made the news, and it seems like everyone's just trying to ignore it. But... but Gramps is sane. It's probably not bullshit after all. What should we do? If they decide to scapegoat us, we'll never be able to clear our names. They're not even changing hearts for the same reasons as us. If there really are other brainwashing incidents out there, that would mean there are more jails. Do you think there could be more monarchs out there too? Then what would we do? Considering what we've gathered, going along with that man could be a viable option. Are we seriously gonna trust that dude? <sighs> what other choice do we have? At the very least, his intel about Alice was useful. What do you say? I think that'd be wisest. Now wait, even if we do level with him, how would we explain it? If he's going to understand what we've been doing, he'll have to learn about the metaverse. Do you think he'll even believe us? We have no choice but to make him believe. Otherwise, it's our leader on the line. But, but, the metaverse, the jail, how do you think we're gonna get some thick-headed cop to buy that? <sighs> it seems our only choice is to take him to the jail. Wait, really? Mako-chan. Can you think of any other way for him to avoid getting arrested? We have one playable card in our hand. We just have to go along with it for the time being. All right, we'll do it. It's not like we have any alternative. Let's hope it's not our undoing. Ah, shit. We gotta stay prepared for the worst case. I'll call him back in. Come on back. We're ready for you. Huh, that was quicker than I expected. So, what say you all? There's a place we need to show you. Follow us. I see. A jail full of shadows. With a monarch seizing desires, was it? All right. What say we go get you tested for drugs now? If you're gonna cook up some fantasy to sell me, maybe try a little less spice next time? Just save it for now. We're about to take you into the cognitive world. Cognitive world? 
follow us. Huh? Where to exactly? So, are you gonna answer me, or...? What? What? What is... This... Isn't real. Everything here is real. Every last bit you can see. Whoa. What happened? What are those outfits for? Yep, just about what I expected. This is our Phantom Thief attire. Ha! Ah. <laughs> what even is this? Where am I? Questions. This is a jail. You are currently located within a jail. Wait. Who are you? I am Sophie, humanity's companion. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to... What? Chill out, Zenkiji. You gotta keep yourself together. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I can't be losing my shit like... Monster Cat! I am not a monster cat! I am Morgana! Do you finally believe we've been telling you the truth? The hell? How much did I drink last night? This just has to be a dream. I'm still passed out. You holding up there, Grants? No need to worry. He's merely having a meltdown. Uh, that still sounds rather worrisome. <laughs> Looks like we blew his mind. Oh, brother. I suppose we may as well head back now. How did this... What's happened to me? Did I drive myself crazy trying to crack this case? <laughs> it's pretty fun watching him lose it. Hmm, his brain probably overloaded and he can't catch up. Oh, why'd we even bother explaining it all beforehand? We all reacted similarly during our first time. Ah, oh, such innocence. Get a hold of yourself, Grants. Sheesh. How long do you need to get it together? Come on, Earth to Zenkichi! Huh? Oh, right. Right! Get it together. This cat said my name! Wait, are you that monster cat from that place? It's the monster cat! I'm not a monster or a cat! I told you I am Morgana! Since you're cognizant of Morgana speaking in the metaverse, you can understand him here now, too. Cats can talk if I'm cognizant of it? <laughs> That's really something! <laughs> I think he's going to need a little more time to process all of this. First off, sorry for losing my cool like that. I think I get what's going on, though. Actually, none of it makes any sense to me. But I'm going to strive to understand. If we're going to make a deal, then that will make us conspirators. Conspirators have to vow never to betray one another's trust. <laughs> so... You already know how all this works. All right, all right. Your trust is repaid with mine. Help me figure out this nationwide change of heart business, and I'll make sure you're all protected. As long as you cooperate, I won't allow the police to lay a finger on you. That's my vow. Oh, man. So he's really real, huh? <laughs> In that case, I'm gonna cut right down to it and ask for your help with a similar incident. PubSec has their eyes on Sapporo right now because of all the change of heart cases there. I need you in Sapporo Central City by August 8th. Why does it need to be the 8th? Our suspect's out of the country on a business trip until then. We're kicking off the investigation within the hour of their arrival back home. 
I see. Very well. So it's likely this suspect in Sapporo is another monarch, like Alice. That could be. If so, then I'd have to ask you guys to handle it. So, we're heading to Sapporo Central in Hokkaido, huh? This'll be quite the little trip for us. Uh, word of caution? You'll definitely want to avoid any sort of public transportation. You're gonna want to either drive or hoof it. Why is that? You revived the Phantom Thieves to deal with Alice. Any potential monarch will have heard about it. The way they see it, you're a real problem. Especially if you go after their own desires. They're definitely all on high alert now. They may even try to get rid of us. There's no way to know who's brainwashed until after they act. What if one of them was the pilot of your plane? But if we can't fly, how do we get to Sapporo? Find a car you can use. That'd be safest. You're not gonna set us up with one? Sorry, but I've got to keep this investigation top secret. Any aid would just leave a trail back to this deal of ours. Oh, and one more thing. Don't worry about the Alice thing. I'll fill you in once I'm done grilling her. Well, here's to a solved case. Same here, Zenkichi. Ah, uh, right. Sorry I called you a monster cat, Kitty. Oh, you'll be sorry! Okay. You didn't go crazy. This is real, Zenkichi. <sighs> Buzzkill. I mean, Hokkaido? Really? Uh, there goes our vacation down the drain. Ain't this stuff happening all over Japan anyways? Even if we do solve this one, we're just gonna get sent off to some other city. A traveling venture in cooperation with public security. I admit it doesn't sound all bad. We should stop by Kyoto as well. Find that silver lining, Inari. This trip isn't for our enjoyment. The case will still be our primary objective. But it's still summer vacation. Can't we have just a little fun? Yeah, the 8th is way off from now. We can still do all kinds of shit before then. Oh, I'd like to experience some regional cuisines. Yeah, yeah, sushi for me. Hearing that from you is a real relief. That being said, we should go over some things before we move on to the trip. First up is Emma. It seems like an ordinary app at first, but now we know that it has a hidden function that can access jails. Yeah, totally the same thing. To think something like that is being used nationwide, it sends a chill down my spine. The app itself is fine though, right? I mean, you can just delete it if you want. Plus, all the keyword and friend list functions work fine. If the app just let everybody slip into jails, wouldn't the whole country basically be pure chaos already? We've all registered as friends on it, but that didn't do anything strange in and of itself. Where did this app come from, anyway? It's run by a Japanese company called Medits. They're an international IT firm, but we're talking tens of thousands of employees. That's quite the large-scale operation. With those numbers, they have to be a top-tier international enterprise. So is this some evil mega-corporation making jails or something? But we can't use Emma the same way Alice did. Well, maybe that's because we all got pure hearts, or something. <laughs> Moron. There's a possibility that Alice had a special version of Emma. What makes you say that? Eh, uh, just an idea. I'm grasping at straws over here. But it is a possibility. If I got a hold of Alice's phone somehow, I should be able to see if her version of Emma is anything special. Really? We should ask Inspector Hasegawa if he could confiscate it for us. I'll reach out to him later over it. All right, next topic, the jail. Each palace collapsed after the treasure inside was stolen. But the jail is still in Shibuya. Not only that, but the palaces are the manifestations of their ruler's cognitions. But that's not true at all in jails. Humans can have their desires seized from their shadows there. And that would cause terrible things to occur to them in the real world. When you put it all together like that, don't it sound even worse than the palaces? 
If these other bizarre incidents across Japan are genuine changes of heart, that means there are probably more jails out there. There could be quite a few of them, considering how impossible it is to report on every incident. <laughs> so, we're working with the police to try and clear our names, but is that really enough? How do you mean? If the jails are as dangerous as we've seen, then wouldn't it be bad to just leave them alone? If stuff as awful as what happened in Shibuya is happening all over, aren't we the only ones who can stop it? That's right. You're absolutely right. Yes, it's our job to save people suffering helplessly. And give people courage! Yeah, you said it. Great speech, Lady On. You've got us all fired up. If that's the plan. Maybe traveling by car will actually work to our advantage. Right. We might find some more jails on the way to Sapporo. That works for me. A little bit of a jailbreak spree along the way. But how do we actually find the other jails? <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Uh. Yes? Uh, it'll only take us about a million years. I believe it may be time for the Sophia show. Ooh, check the super AI! I can detect any jails in the vicinity by scent. For real? By scent? A jail emits a distinct signature. When I enter a jail's range, I can sense it. Sophia, that is nuts! Praise accepted. There is still much we do not understand. But at least we now have a course of action. Yeah. This is gonna be... You're right. We deserve to enjoy ourselves along the way. All that's left is to secure our transportation. If this is going to fit all of us, won't it have to be pretty big? We'll just have to rent something. Oh, who knows what it'll cost us. Money is no object to us. The prize funds for my most recent contest entry have finally come. Oh, keep your snack money to yourself. Well, we could have deal with someone in the police. Maybe they'll help pay for our investigation. <sighs> nah. Some pretty big transportation. Hmm. I'm getting this feeling that Sojiro mentioned something along those lines once. Let's go ask him. Hmm. A ride that could fit all of you. Were you talking to someone about big transportation or something the other day? Oh, you mean the guy I know with the camper? Yeah, he was whining about never having the time to use it, and how it's just collecting dust. Sojiro, that's it! Please go borrow that camper for us, please! Hmm. Does this have anything to do with what you guys are getting blamed for? Yes? Then I guess I don't have a choice. I'll give him a call. Sit tight till tomorrow. Yeah, now there's our chief. So consider it. But listen up. No getting too wild out there, all right? And are you all set with travel funds and whatnot? Yes. We've all been saving up for summer vacation. <laughs> Once art drove me to rags, but now it has propelled me to riches. Yeah, we gotcha. A camper? This is turning into some kind of coming-of-age flick. Wait, are you guys and girls actually gonna sleep in that thing together? No worries, the boys are all sleeping on the roof. And we've got Makoto and her fist of justice with us if someone tries anything funny. Oh, and I'm very handy with an axe. Uh, yeah. These sisters are really doing it for themselves. Fine, whatever you gotta do. So, about what I asked for. Ah, right. Alice's phone. Here you go. Nice scores, Ankichi! 
Hey, that's important evidence. No breaking it. Got that? So, how was Alice, anyway? She was pretty upfront about the whole heart-changing situation. When people registered her as a friend on Emma, she noticed they'd suddenly grow obedient to her. At first, she was just curious what was going on. But she says she got such a thrill from making people do her bidding, she couldn't stop herself. It began with the friend registration, hmm? Was there anything else? The only other thing she did was apologize. That's all we got. But it does seem like she was telling me the truth. So she didn't actually know anything about the jails or desires? Well, I have to say, I wouldn't have bought one bit of it if you hadn't shown me what you did. Hmm? What in the hell? What is it? Did you find something? I thought I'd find some unique aspect to Alice's version of Emma. But nope. This is just the standard commercial version. It hasn't even been tampered with. So we got nothing out of this? I didn't say that. I did find traces of some snooping in her phone. What do you mean? Someone was monitoring Alice's activity. Either her smartphone usage in general, or her Emma usage specifically. So, like... That would mean there is still someone out there involved with this incident. Do you see anything revealing the Monitor's origins? Somewhere within the country. That's all I get from this. Getting even that's quite the feat. You're real good, kid. <laughs> Never underestimate the techie of the Phantom Thieves. So someone was tracking Alice. Who could it be? Uh, one thing at a time. This isn't our only case to work. I'm sure we'll find more leads as we investigate the incidents. Well, I'll see you August 8th at Sapporo Central. Don't be late, got it? I'll reach out to you that day with the meetup location. Time to return this phone to its rightful owner. So Alice could put people in her jail because she was a monarch. Is that about right? Since it didn't seem to be her version of Emma's doing, that seems correct. I get where you're coming from, but we still shouldn't jump to conclusions. Like Zenkyuji said, there's still plenty to look into. That's true. We don't know enough about what's happening. We should gather more intel. Hey, you guys still together? Then come on outside. Check out your wheels. Yo. What? Okay, here's your wheels. This is the camper. Whoa. Oh, it's like three times more badass than I expected. Beautiful. The retro design so simple yet so elegant. Hey. Thanks, Sodiro. It's awesome. It looks old. We'll do our best not to crash it. Yeah. Just make sure you don't wreck it. Mm -hmm. I found the, the make and model online. This is a Vulcan Retro Life. It has four beds and a rooftop tent. There are enough power outlets for everyone as well as cooking appliances for any culinary needs. Oh. We couldn't have asked for anything better. That's our sheep for you. Oh, yeah. Wow. I love the interior too. Yes, it reminds me of American diners in the 1950s. Hmm. I hope I can actually drive something this big. It's got its little quirks, but I'm sure you'll get used to them quick enough. Until then, though, make sure you drive carefully, okay? Uh. Well, I guess I can't really park this here, can I? I'll go move this to the nearest lot. You go finish your packing. Yes, sir. That's true. All right, let's disband for now and regroup once we're ready to roll out. Yes, sir. Hey, hey. Well, well, good job getting packed up for the trip. Anything else you think we need? If so, we better go buy it now. Once we're all set, we should go say our goodbyes to the chief before heading out. Yo, dude, there's somewhere I want to go before we head out. You should check it out too. I'll wait for you outside, so you let me know when you're ready. Yeah. Yo, watch, watch it. We somehow like do that with everyone else. Now we're spending 731 with everyone else. Excuse me. 
Let's see what happens. So Taco Leap ends the day, so... Oh boy! Yo. It's gonna be everyone else, isn't it? Hey, been waiting for you. Up to grab some ramen right now? It'll be you know where. Let's celebrate before the gang band together is setting off the big trip. Uh, let's see. I have a feeling life's blah blah blah, but I know there are people out there. Blah blah. Uh. I mean, I told her I really had blah blah. That's why I didn't mean to get all sappy around before we leave everything. I'm really pumped. Blah blah. Ta da! I brought a whole bunch of games. Let's play some when we have time for it. Travel yeah. game set. Juno! <laughs> Driving something as big as an RV is a first for me. I admit, I'm at least a bit nervous, but I'm still looking forward to it. I've wanted to get on a long, a long road trip sometime now. Don't worry, I won't gun it with Johanna. Hey. We may have to focus our efforts on the case, but I'm still excited for our trip. I'm extra glad I asked for some time off at the company for now. <laughs> Alright. Very well. Isn't this supposed to be a log excursion though? I better stock up best I can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Listen, Inara, you only get 500 yen for snacks for now, okay? Awesome. But rock salt's not a snack, y yes? Okay. Okay, let's go go with Ryuji and see what's up. Hey. Let's go. You're gonna go right now? I think you're a little bit obsessed. Obese. Or obsessed, yeah. That's a problem. Hey, if you're not doing anything, you should come with. I don't know if, if I want all those calories. You eat a lot! What are you there what's there for you to complain? You eat a lot of stuff. Come on now, what's with the calories? Damn, this shit's the bomb. That's what I'm talking about. Uh dude, no ramen, no life. You treat, right? Uh yeah. Uh yeah, this one's the one for me, for sure. Yeah, yeah. You really love ramen that much. Well, it's good, though. Right? I could eat this forever. Man, eating this reminds me of the original Phantom Thieves, back when it was just us three. Hey. You mean us four? I was there, too, you know. I remember you ate too much and ended up feeling like crap. You were the same way. Hey, hey show me the ramen. Oh, so this is what ramen is. Looks good, right? Too bad you can't try it. They got extra large ones too. You won't believe how much stuff they put in. I want to see. Oh. Huh? I want to see the some extra large ramen. Show her, Ryuji. For real? No way. I just had a bowl. So that's the story. You said you could eat forever. Do it for Sophia. Ah, uh, way to put me on the spot. Awesome. Fine. Challenge accepted. But I'm taking you guys with me. Hey, boss, we'll take three extra large bowls over here. What? Seriously? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's a lot. Oh, no. I can't. No more. I'm gonna puke. My stomach feels like it's gonna burst. Are you guys done with your shenanigans? That was nothing. You see that, Sophia? Whoa. Thank you, I learned a lot from that. That's good to hear. <sighs> I need to lie down. You think they have any hammocks here? You enjoy roaming to the full extent with Un and Ryuji. Level 10! I need 15 points to get that HPSP thingy. <sighs> I'm definitely gaining weight after that. Oh man, easy on the road or else it's called coming back. <laughs> Alrighty then. Do the I'll thing and um, this. How much points do I how much points do I have? How much, how much, how much? Uh, um where's the stinking thing I'm looking for there? Let's see. I got ten points. I need five more to get this. Oh, wait. Weren't you 15? Oh, wait, that's HP. Never mind, I took it back. It's this thing. All right. Um, pretty much after this, we're all set. We probably won't be back until we're done with the mission. So, like, come subscribe, Shocker's XTB, and I'm signing out. I'll just add this.